I could have watched that match for another 20 minutes. <laughs> Something's going to happen eventually, you know? Yeah. It was already it was starting to, really, at the end. Culmination of the 2018 finals of the Spider Invitational here in Seoul, Korea. Once again, I'm your host, John Evans. With me, Keenan Cornelius. And this is the winner of the 76 kilo and wow. under division versus the winner of the 76 kilo, or the over 76 kilo division. And Kainan Duarte is going to be fighting Jonathan Alves. Quite a big size disparity. Yep, and he hit him with that double guard pull coming right on top to secure that first advantage. Immediately steps out of the lapel weave. You know, sometimes as a taller guy, though, when you're facing someone who's short and strong like Jonathan, it can actually be very difficult to pass their guards, even with size. Their little legs just weave in between you much easier than someone your own size. I was just speaking with uh, Paulo Mio's coach that he brought, who's Levi from Unity as well. Brought him along to coach him. And uh, we were talking about the difference between size differences and gi and no gi. And I was saying how I really feel like somebody that's much bigger can enforce their will on the smaller player if they're in the gi. Just for the simple fact, if you make a grip on the pant leg, you try to hip escape, Maybe you're not going anywhere. Although, look at this. Nearly I got the mermaid sweep and up to a single leg from Jonathan, but Kynan says, not today, my friend. I'm just yeah. going to stiff arm you into oblivion. It's tough for someone down. kind in size to finish a single leg on him, let alone someone as small as Jonathan. And definitely have to change up your strategy a little bit if you're the smaller opponent. Yeah, and I'm not sure they even have anyone over 200 pounds at... Mendez Brothers Academy, so Jonathan might not be comfortable fighting someone as big as Kainan, whereas Atos in San Diego has a wider spectrum yeah. of weights. Still about two minutes left to go. Or, I'm sorry, two Jonathan's, minutes in. <laughs> Jonathan is standing right now. And uh, only one advantage just from the double guard pull to the stand-up. So Jonathan, so far, holding his own. Now this is where you see a weight discrepancy really take effect because it's actually a lot harder to stop a sweep against someone who's bigger than you when you're on top of them. Um, I feel like guard is a little easier almost to keep them off of you, but here it's very difficult to stop their upward movement once they start initiating a sweep attack. Which is something that we saw even with um, Jacare versus Marcelo Garcia pulling into the close guard and mm -hmm. using that. When was that? 
That was a long time ago. <laughs> that is an old school <laughs> reference. It is, but uh, using that to effectively beat Marcelo because he didn't want him running around. Yeah. Use your size, Not use your legs. Inverted here to a crab ride, but I think Kine is just going to be able to stand up. Yeah. Take him down. That's going to be two points. See, that's the size difference right there. <laughs> so completely unable to mount any sort of defense against the sweeping motion. Yep. And Jonathan not looking severely outclassed here or anything, but like you said, that sweep looked the fairly simple. Yeah. Not a lot of resistance that he can do. Yeah, arguably he fights tooth and nail for that one and still gets swept in the end and mm -hmm. uses a lot of energy. Yeah. That's why you see smaller guys play guard in open divisions. Oh, there's some thumbs bleeding a lot. Jonathan's thumb. Right thumb, yeah. Looks like it's from the nail, maybe. Bruno there, who's here Bruno coaching Machado. Kynan. Keeps stepping out of that. So casually, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I think being tall helps with that. Yeah. Just lift your leg up out. Probably normally has to take a much bigger step against people his own size. They're using the lapel through the legs. I don't understand Kaina's jujitsu because he doesn't like do passes, but sometimes he still passes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do any sort of real pass that I can identify, but it, somehow he ends up past people's guards sometimes. I want to have that attribute. That's that's a yeah. good skill to have. Just magically it. pass someone's guard without without even trying. It's from those weird positions that he lets himself get to, like the X. Oh, where he puts himself deep yeah, in the guard? Yeah, he's like deep in someone's X guard, and somehow he like steps his leg out in a way that just ends him up going past. Here's the knee cut, but that pant grip slowing that one down. Looks like Cunning's going to try to make a counter pant grip. Here he goes, starts putting some pressure. On the waistband of Alves. There's the mermaid sweep again. And he actually makes it work. Okay, that was kind of weird. I feel like he just controlled the one sleeve of Kynan and Kynan went to go post on it and then just accepted it. That looked weirdly easy. That sweep is really strong, but he even opened up his legs right at the end, which usually stops the effectiveness of it. Up on a single leg. If he lets go of the leg here, this is bad. He needs to finish that. Trying for a jumping triangle. <laughs> up in the close guard of Jonathan. Under two minutes to go. Four to two. Kynan up. Kynan also with an advantage. Jonathan just not getting absolutely smashed by Kynan, which maybe on paper with the size difference you would think might be the case. Yeah. This kid is so talented. I mean, these guys are both autos, so maybe he's trying to make sure he doesn't injure his extended teammate, you know? You think he's not trying his hardest? I don't know. That one sweep looked kind of weird, but I don't know. You think if uh, Alves ties up the score, you think um, you think maybe kind of to have the same pace? Hmm. I would like to see. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. 50-50 for Alves. Usually to sweep with this one, if that's what he's trying to do, you want to spin under towards the head side. If you go towards the back side, you're looking to take the back. Wow, but he just puts kind of down. Interesting. And right. now they're talking to each other. But this starts to get a little dicey for Kynan, though. Like, if once he's out of the 50-50, unless Kynan can just power that leg back to the 50-50 like he did. And now Kynan wants to make sure that he solidifies the sweep, gets out of the 50-50 right away. Look for an aggressive pass here with only about 10 seconds left to go. Kynan up 6-4, to four, still up an advantage. Jonathan's going to try to sweep him back immediately. <laughs> kind of says, not going to happen.
But what a showing from Jonathan Alves. Making his path all the way through his division to just be able to fight Kynan. Kynan looks a bit winded here. Kynan, of course, putting on a clinic today. Beautiful jujitsu. Both those guys played it pretty safe that fight, I would say. But still Judging for, awesome from showing. how Kynan looks and after his matches today, maybe is a little bit tired and, and just wanted to make sure he did enough to win, but did not want to kill himself completely. There's a prize for this, right? A, a win prize? There you have it, your 2018 Spider Invitational Championship winner, Kainan Duarte of Atos. Runner-up, Jonathan Alves. Both competitors taking their respective weight classes. Putting on a beautiful display of jiu-jitsu.